Hello YouTube and welcome to another Lambo Jackson channel video. Today's topic is my autographed GOAT collection. Pretty much the greatest of all time from each sport. And first off, we have this Upper Deck Authenticated Michael Jordan Slam Dunk photo. This was done in the 1990s. Nice signature. Still after all these years in the Upper Deck hologram. Next up is this Wayne Gretzky, and my only hockey autograph, showing a nice young Gretzky after the Stanley Cup victory. And this one is out of 250 by Upper Deck. Next up here is a Steiner Sports Mike Tyson 16 by 20. It's a metallic photo, so it really pops. There's also a nice inscription of Ollie was the greatest, I was the baddest, signed by Mike. And this is, once again, only 2 out of 10 from Steiner Sports. Next up is my Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Authenticated Triple Exposure photo. This is a really cool photo of Griffey's classic swing. Nice autograph. Upper Deck Authenticated. This one's out of... 500. Next up is this Hank Aaron signed 16 by 20 from Steiner Sports. Signing gold. Really nice framing. And you can see it's only one of 74. This one's 57 out of 74. It's also authenticated by Major League Baseball and has Hank Aaron's own personal hologram. Next up is the goat coach in my collection the only coach autograph that i have it's legendary vince lombardi and this is something that upper deck did it's from their 2005 upper deck portraits this is like an 8 by 10 that has a packers check embedded inside of it this is one of five i'm surprised they actually did five of these and this came from breakers roll it took over a year of negotiating and Finally, they took my initial offer a little over a year later, and I was lucky to get this because these have really skyrocketed in the last couple of years. Next up is an image of both of my favorite football players of all time. As you can see, it's Brett Favre and Bart Starr. Both of them added the 95, 96, 97 MVP for Favre, and the inscription Star did was his jersey number and MVP of Super Bowl one and two. It's also signed by the photographer and TriStar authenticated Bart's signature. And over here, Brett Favre has his own personal hologram to authenticate that Next one. Next up is something I've shown before. This is my Babe Ruth signed photo. It's an eight by 10, authenticated by PSA DNA. As you can see, Signed to a Martha McDonald, sincerely Babe Ruth, John Barrymore, who was an actor and is also, I think, the great grandfather or grandfather to Drew Barrymore, signed it with grand admiration for Babe Ruth. And then on the radio show, uh, Best Polly Moran and L. Jolson, who ran the radio show back in those days. Next up is this Ty Cobb. Signed 8x10 photo, one of my favorite hitters of all time, as you can see, signed it to Ken Johnson from Ty Cobb. This is something I've shown before, but he is one of my goats in my collection, and it's signed fairly well given the, the age of the photo, and it's dual authenticated by PSA and Beckett. Next up is this autographed bat signed by Pete Rose, and he did give the Charlie Hustle inscription, something he would never sign for years and years, decades. But I guess now that he's signed everything and he needs more income, uh, he's actually willing to sign the Charlie Hustle inscription. So his autograph is still pretty good, pretty bold. Um, it's not shaky or anything given his age. So if you're looking to get something signed by Pete Rose and get that rare uh, inscription, probably now's your best time. This came from Mill Creek Sports. 
gave me a really good deal on it. This is PSA in the presence authenticated. So a member of their team was there to witness the signing. Next up is my favorite Bo Jackson signed item in my collection. This is the famous Nike advertisement uh, photo. This is the bat and shoulder pads image that Bo can't sign anymore. Paid about $70, $75 for this years and years ago. And now it's well over $1,000. And the key to getting these is making sure that it has a TriStar hologram. This is also the old Major League Baseball. But if you can get one with the TriStar hologram, the image quality is a lot better. You'll be able to, as I said before in a previous video, this part right here is like hard to see in the photo versions that have just the Bo Jackson hologram on it or Steiner hologram or PSA hologram. These right here, the background is lighted, so it's a much better image quality. You can actually see the image. Um, it's huge. I've seen others that don't have the TriStar and if you're gonna pay big money, I would recommend getting the TriStar. Uh, the image looks way better. A little tip there. Next up is this Ted Williams signed 16 by 20. Great image of Ted. He had a 1942. It comes with the Ted Williams hologram. Next up is this 16 by 20 signed by Mike Trout. It's the catch number two, which happened September 26th of 2015. I got this from the Major League Baseball Players Association. This is number 22 out of 215. It's also MLB authenticated. I also added a nice Mike Trout stadium giveaway hat to kind of decorate it. Next up is this Barry Bonds autographed 8x10. This was super cheap. I think it cost me $25 framed. And it comes with the Barry Bonds hologram. Next up is this Frank Thomas leaf poster. This is a really cool image of Frank. Let's see if I can get a better look of it. Frank Thomas Hall of Fame 2014. And this is the only autographed item that I picked up uh, from an autograph signing last year due to COVID. And it also came with a photo of him signing it from the signing. And he's wearing a mask, so it's kind of cool. Next up is my favorite baseball pitcher of all time, Nolan Ryan. This image comes with the Nolan Ryan hologram. And as you can see, he also signed Don't Mess With Texas. And it's the classic Robin Ventura pose. Next up is the Shaquille O'Neal Signed 11 by 14. This is from the scoreboard. It's number 174 out of the 200 they did for the limited edition. Nice sweet autograph. With number 32 added from his magic days. My favorite uh, Shaq period of playing days. Next up are a couple of my favorite brewers of all time. As a kid growing up watching Paul Mollard and Robin Yount. This is a great image from the early 80s with those powder blue jerseys, which are pretty much classics and that old ball and glove image there. This is from Waukesha Sports Cards. They did the signing back in the day. Another image that I like here is the 16 by 20 of Giannis, favorite Bucks player of all time, other than Jabbar or Lou Alcindor. This is with a nice Giannis autograph. Usually he doesn't sign this well. Usually it's just a scribble. This one you can at least see the 34 and the GA. And this is witnessed by the Witness Protection Program of JSA. And finally, something that took me a long time to complete. I originally purchased this in about 2003. It's a Steiner Sports Muhammad Ali signed photo. It originally started out it's just the sign photo from Ali. Steiner's sports hologram there. And number seven out of 50. But 
in 2015, they offered a, Celebrity Authentics offered a mail-in one time, probably ever, for Arnold Schwarzenegger to sign an item of yours. And I sent in September of 2015 this photo and I received it back about Christmas of 2016, so over a year to get the signing completed. As you can see, Celebrity Authentics put their hologram on there. Another cool thing about it is they actually take a picture of your item being signed by the celebrity. There's Schwarzenegger signing it. But you can see the back of the, the matting. I pretty much took it out of the frame and sent the whole thing matted in between a plexiglass to keep it from getting damaged. So it's pretty cool. One of my favorite items in my collection. All right. One last item here signed. Alan Iverson, The Answer, 16 by 20. It's a metallic photo. I don't know if you can see the, the image pop, but it looks a lot better than a regular image. As you can see, he added The Answer, it's old nickname. This is a PSA in the presence signed photo. So if you look it up, you can see that staff was there to witness the signing. It's pretty much the only way I'll buy uh, modern uh, day items if it's witnessed by JSA Witness Protection Program, uh, PSA In The Presence Program, or Beckett Witnessed. Don't really care to get things that are third party straight up reviewed. All right, thanks for watching and have a good day.